It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Bill Maher annoys me. Really? Yeah. I with, love Bill Maher. Uh, it's just annoying. It's like, it's so like, it's so like detached and privileged, some of his takes, especially on religion. Like, you don't believe in God. I know, but it's annoying. It's like, he's a rich guy who has tons of money to do whatever he want, and he li- wants, and he lives in the first world to do that, right? <laughs> and he's screaming at the top of the lung, at his lungs that God doesn't exist. And then some poor person that's going to spell their entire life, maybe being hungry, maybe they got to get a job cleaning some fucking pots or something like that. And their whole life, they literally have nothing and they're just hoping they get to go to heaven. He's like, hey, guess what? You don't even get that. But he don't know either though. That's my thing. So then shut the fuck up. But, but it's Why are you going to take away the one thing that poor person is looking forward think, to? It's like I, a douchey thing to do. I think it's just an opinion. I think I think all of us have to realize that everybody just has their opinion. Everybody has their different worldviews. If Bill Maher chooses to be an atheist, cool. If you choose to be a full blown Christian who believes in God, great. Like, right. It's neither neither's right, neither's wrong. None of us know. Like I, I can't say it's an easy place to come from. Like being rich and going, there is no God. It's like it's really easy, and it's almost arrogant because you're like, hey, I did this all myself. I get all the credit. Like God gets none of the credit for where I'm at right now. I made it. I feel like it's almost. It's, I feel like it's almost a selfish version. Like people who have extreme success and like extreme luck, I feel like you should almost give it up to God more. Listen, I believe in God. I'm a God fearing person. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm not going to knock you if you don't. All I'm going to tell you is God bless you. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be like, yo, I really hope you're right. Because, <laughs> boy, if you're wrong. <laughs> if you're wrong, based off everything I've read yeah. in Scripture, boy, you're going to have hell on your hands. Doesn't it seem weird? Like, why do you need to say that to folks, man? It's just, I don't know. But I, 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 Why do you want to take away he, the thing that, that, that he, means so much to them? Like, why do why you want to remove that if, from them? If and you like, watch his show, he's not pushy about it, though. Man, he did a whole documentary called Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. And, and like, after religious. he did that, like, he's... He's not pushy about it. like he'll like even if it comes up on the show, people will be like, "Well, y'all know you don't believe in God." And he'd be like, "Yeah," like you don't. He don't. As long as that's the, yeah, the yeah, angle he's not, now, he's not so debating. I retra- you. Yeah, I retract what I said then. Then uh, if he's changed his ways, but there was a time I haven't where heard I thought, him on Rogan. Yet. He's not Rogan now. Yeah, he's he on. Rogan he did Friday, Rogan. I, I was watching a little bit. He said he never. Um, he said he never thought Cosby was funny. <laughs> I can't sit here and act like I did either. Oh, you'd never. I mean, it depends what you're talking about. I like the Cosby Show. No, he's like, I never thought the show was good, and I never thought. Oh, no, he's bugging on that. The Cosby Show was great. Yeah, I mean, whatever. It does. Cosby Show was great. I don't know if it's. I don't. I mean, listen, the Cosby Show was great. I don't know what to tell him, but I'm I'm sitting there thinking, like, was it great because of Bill? Though, yeah, it was. I mean, yeah, he produced it. I'm sure. But I never watched his stand up. I never watched I Spy. None of that shit like that. I never. But to be honest with you, I never checked for anything other than Fat Albert and fucking the Cosby Show. I never even checked it down. I don't know. It's just an interesting take I, that I find like the people that are like staunchly atheists, they're all like really wealthy. Like all these like real hardcore atheists like scream at the top of their lungs. And, nah, like, I know some, I know some middle, middle, middle class atheists. I'm, I the mean, ones the ones that are famous. Knew, the, what, the famous oh, ones. Okay, yeah, the like first, the celebrity yeah. atheists. Because the first people all, I knew that didn't believe in God weren't even famous at all. They were just regular people. Like, right. Yeah. Say what? They believe what in do themselves. I believe in? I, I honestly don't know. I thought you was atheist for a while. No, I've never been... Uh, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't raised with any religion, so I can't say that I'm religious, but I, I, I like the idea of there being something else out there. I don't know if it's a higher power. I don't know if it's an organized religion. Like, yeah, like maybe, maybe agnostic. Not agnostic. Ain't that the shit in the car? No, but you know why I'm not agnostic? Because like, I think agnostic is like, I believe in God. I just don't know which religion is right, essentially. So maybe it is that, but I, I don't even think God is one religion. I think no. that, I think God, no. I think these are people, I think religion in its best form, like, the most altruistic form, not in a version of religion that's trying to like maybe control people, et cetera. I think the most kind and warm version of religion is people who understood uh, their relationship with God or the universe, or whatever it is. And they were like, hey, if we do these things, we feel better. If you, And they tried to share those things with other people so they would feel better too. And when those other people didn't do it, they were like, all right, motherfucker, just do it and you'll go to heaven. But really, what do they say? Faith is in the works or something like that? Yeah, or, faith without works is dead. It, I really think that the heaven actually exists in life if you do these things oh, I believe opposed that. to suffer your whole life and then you get this heaven afterwards. I feel like you can create your own 
personal hell, you can create your own personal heaven. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, think you, yeah. I think you can have physical hell, physical heaven, emotional hell, emotional heaven, spiritual hell, spiritual heaven, you know, mental hell, mental heaven. I just right. think it's about the kind of work that you want to do on yourself while you're here. But I, I, I agree with you. Like, I don't think God is one religion either, because if you really believe in God, then you see God in all things. Yes. You don't look at a, yeah. a Muslim and say, oh, he's not God. Right. You don't look at a Christian and say, oh, he's not God. You don't look at a Jewish man and say, oh, he's not God. Right. You know what I'm saying? You don't even look at an atheist and say, oh, that's not God. Because if you believe in God, it doesn't matter what they believe. Right. I see the God in you, even if you don't believe that God exists. Right. So, and, and, and yo, God created all of us in his image according to his likeness. Who says we're all, not all images of God? 100%. Who says God ain't sitting back looking like, look at these stupid motherfuckers, motherfuckers ain't arguing it out over yet. the same shit? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I literally, never gave these motherfuckers free will. But isn't that crazy? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All these like, religions arguing over the same shit. Like, 90% of everyone is the same. Don't hurt people, don't steal, don't kill people, don't do all this other shit. And you're all gonna kill each other over the same. Literally, you agree on. Mo politicians don't even agree on this much shit. No. Nah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. And, and by the way, every religion, the root, the root of what you all believe in is the same thing. God, that's it. <laughs> it don't matter how you get there, yeah. how many times you pray to him a day. Do you believe in this? You all believe in this one entity mm. called God. Mm. That should be it. Yeah. Like, that should be it. Fuck, fuck the practices. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, well, you don't do field service. Oh, you don't pray five times a day. Oh, yeah. you're circumcised. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, who gives a fuck? Yeah. Doesn't circumcision have to do with something? Yes. Jews, Muslims get okay, circumcised. Okay. Clean looking cocks out there in the Middle East. <laughs> Ain't no sand caught in that dick. <laughs> oh my God. What if that's why they did it? What if that was the only reason? Is it sand this was getting fucking, caught in dicks? This desert is in my dick. Desert in your dick. <laughs> your girl's like, stop it, honey. You got desert dick. And you're like, all right, hold on. Let me get rid of that shit. What if that was the whole reason? Oh, man, mixing with the smegma. Can you imagine those little grains of sand with the shit? So painful. Under that foreskin. So painful. Because they didn't have beds, right? What do you mean? They're sleeping right there on the and sand. <laughs> I think the, the cutting the dick off was just about getting sand out of the fucking dick so you could please your girl. Oh, man. It don't matter how wet a pussy is, sand gonna dry it up. What if in order to clean the schmegma, they used to just air out their dicks and let the camels lick the schmegma off? <laughs> Son, they do got a long tongue. <laughs> that tongue could get in there. <laughs> that really what if could... the hump in the camel is years and years of schmegma <laughs> because they can't digest it? <laughs> it just sits there. It just sits there. It's schmegma and sand. That's schmegma what you think. Schmegma and sand. Yes. Yo! We figured out camel humps, Son, bro. We figured out camels. We figured out <laughs> circumcised dick. Yo, think about it. Nobody who doesn't come from sand has a circumcised dick. Oh! Right? All these people in Europe, ain't no sand in Europe. They don't got circumcised dicks. Oh, that's Shannon Smegma, bro. It's a Dude, deadly combination. It really is for the girl. Led to circumcision. <laughs> for the fucking girl. Oh, my it's God. all considered for the girl. Come on, dude. <laughs> Taylor, Google that. <laughs> Just Google sand and uncircumcised penis. And I don't want to see be. what comes up. It has to it has, be. Yo, bro, it has to it fucking has to be. be. It's a You're little trunk. It has to be, man. Yeah. Uh, Michaela's birthday is today. Ah. Come here, Michaela. She's 37 today. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not. Yeah, she is. Stop playing. 37, bro. It's almost over for her. <laughs> Michaela, you're 37, 37. today? No, How old? I'm 27. Congratulations. How Do we have feeling? this mic on right there? Oh. Happy birthday, Michaela. Thank you. Just brought you in for a little eye candy. You know what I'm saying? I was just sitting observing. Give you cash out for something. Maybe you get a dollar. Hey. I'm serious. I <laughs> Can I solicit? <laughs> Would you fuck a nigga who had uh Whoa, dude, whoa. Like zero to <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> whoa. Okay. Would you have sexual relations? To you, man. man, shut up. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Would you have sexual relations with a man who had sand and schmegma in his uncircumcised penis? Yes. No. But I've I have experienced like a guy, like when he takes off his pants, I saw like it was uncircumcised. And what did you do? I Abort mission. Hold on. No. Stop. <laughs> Abort mission. But it looks like a pussy and you, are, you hook up with girls. No, it does not. It looks like a turtleneck. Yeah, that's what a pussy looks like. No, a loose doesn't. turtleneck. Uh, no. No way. <laughs> not mine. What the hell? A you ever seen a pussy on a... Ha a pussy. You ever seen a turtleneck on a hanger? I think it's something you need to tell us, bro. A turtleneck on a hanger. <laughs> a turtleneck on a hanger is not, is not filled a, up, so it folds this way and it just looks like a pussy. 
No way, Jose. Y'all don't hang your turtlenecks? So listen. Well, now I'm questioning the pussies that you <laughs> yeah, interact well, Listen, with. I'm trying to think who got I've you, I've seen bro. at least two pussies in my day. Like roast beef. <laughs> like that. Do we need to do like another untuck beef. it commercial I'm real quick? I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not going to lie, bro. I'm not upset if the pussy look like the hotel bed after you kick it open. Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> you, know, you know, you know, you know the hotel bed all tucked in under the mattress and then you just get in there like, I'm getting comfy today. That should be tight, too, That should bro. be tight. You got to kick it open, bro. Give me some labia, Holiday and Express. <laughs> 